Subscribe and turn on notifications to enter our PS4 and Xbox One giveaway. The link is in the description. Starting off this list, we have a pretty obvious top 10 spot. Obviously, phone games are a great source of curing boredom through pretty much anything, be it car rides, adventures, walks, whatever. You know, personally, I play them, and I'm not going to lie, they're pretty great for curing boredom. So as you can see, a few examples there, Angry Birds, Clash of Clans, Best Friends, whatever, you know, phone games, you really can't go wrong. Number 9, Movie or Netflix Marathon. If you have those moments where you can't really think of anything specific to watch, you know, just click on a video, it gives you recommendations, you click on those, and etc, etc, you know, it becomes, it becomes this, you know, snowball effect of you wasting hours and hours of time that you can, you know, be putting to something more productive, but hey, you know, if you're bored, it is what it is. Number 8, Gaming. Some of you may still be around from when Spacebound was a gaming channel. Now, obviously, if you're around during those times, you subscribe, maybe you binge watch some of the channel videos, obviously, you're into gaming. Whether it cures boredom or you just like playing games, for some reason, you like it. I'm gonna play video games for 24 hours straight. Right now, it's 3 p.m. I'll see you guys in 24 hours. I just played video games for 24 hours and I feel horrible. What of Warcraft and Roots? Oh my god, RuneScape. I, uh, those were interesting times. I won't get into that. If, if you play RuneScape, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, number seven, reading. Yes, I know that reading might be a little bit boring, but it's really dependent on who you are. So there's actually a lot of people that really do enjoy reading. Think of reading as more of an acquired taste. Number six, making food. Now we're talking because food is a really delicious way to pass time. I personally pass the time around eight times a day. Yeah, I know. Doesn't look like it. It's just a fast metabolism. By the way, cooking your own food is for some reason more rewarding and ends up tasting better than food. You just go out and buy like fast food and stuff like that. So just as a little reminder, look up some videos, you know, learn how to cook or whatever. It's really easy. You know, that's, you know, the internet is your best tool for resources when it comes to researching stuff. Anyways, number five, cleaning your room. I know cleaning your room may sound awful and really not fun, but with the right music on and the right vibes playing, you know, you really can actually get into it. You can also organize your room. If you haven't noticed, uh, this is a green screen and obviously you can't see it. Maybe if I flick it on and off, you can see it. But point being is that I've moved a lot of stuff around, you know, I've, I've had so much fun with it. It feels refreshing organizing your room and just moving everything around, you know? I highly suggest it, you know, if if you've been in the same setup for a long time, you know, same thing, same bed, same place, you know, just try moving it around, you know, you can have some fun with it. Number four, drawing or coloring. Here's something for the more creative ones watching this video. I'm, well, actually, you really don't even need to be creative. As long as you have a coloring book and you can color inside the lines, or outside, whatever your preference is, then you're pretty much good. Personally, it's really hard for me to color in, because I have my own little coloring book, right? I've, no, I mean. Number three, dance party. You know what, as random as this might sound, screw it, you know, just dance party. Who doesn't have fun with dance party? You remember like Dance Dance Revolution or whatever that game was, you know, that was pretty fun, you know? Messing around with your friends, you know, family, dancing around. What can I do, you know, just cures boredom. Number two, go swimming. 
Now here's one of my personal favorites. Luckily, I am the owner of a pool, so I can swim whenever I want. Now I, you know, thank God every day for the stuff I have. You know, I don't take it for granted whatsoever. But for those of you who aren't as fortunate, you know, maybe find a friend, an indoor pool, gyms that might have one, the beach, anything along those lines, because you know what? Swimming, it's just fun. And finally, number one, watching Spacebound videos. Here is one of the best certified ways to cure boredom. Well, not, I mean, I certified it, so it's not really. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for better content in the future, and have yourself a great day.